Six. Yep. Six women. Check in on the, the start list there. But and next rider up is the Austrian with the bib number in gold from the Alberg region, Lechem Alberg, half Australian. What a mix. Surf and skiing heritage in her blood. And she has skied so well. She was in this exact same position in 2014, but fell in Fieberbrunn at the penultimate event. If she can hold on to it here, then she will be world champ. If she wins here, she's world champ. If she's second, she's world champ. If it's not ja uh, Kylie Savelle or Jackie Passo, top three. Great body language so far. Really strong riding. Look at that. No hesitation. Just catch a little air. She said she felt Another so one there. relaxed. This is really this strong year. riding. Keep on doing that and you're going to mm. end up all the way on top. She actually said she wanted it too badly in 2014. She's much more philosophical this year and she's had injuries to battle in 15 and 16. This year she's feeling fit. She's worked so hard to make sure she's in condition for this season and it's paying off. Absolutely and uh, definitely you can see competition riding is also a big time a mind game and she's so well centered not only skiing on her skis but also in her mind and uh, if she brings it down here that is paving the road to the world champion title i can tell you that well at the moment she's put that run to bed beautifully and I've got to say, those turns were more powerful, more graceful than Hazel's. And a couple of these features, maybe not as steep, but that was beautiful. Absolutely. This combination of powerful turns in the steep parts, it didn't put her into any trouble at any time. And that's what the judges want to see. The only little thing that could have lacked or lacked a little bit at the bottom was the air and style segment. But still, she was riding strong, very committed. I'm pretty sure we're going to see a really great score. One of the things, 78.33, first place, and a heavy, heavy marker for the rest of the women to follow. One of the